Women are paying big money to scream and smash sticks in the woods. It's called a rage ritual. No, it's called tweaking. And it's expensive. Enter Mia Magic, your spiritual guide to screaming and smashing sticks in the woods. And also the person who will foresee the exiting of all the funds from your bank account for the foreseeable future. Participants are encouraged to think of people and experiences that have wronged them and to scream and swing the sticks for at least 20 minutes or until they can no longer move their arms. Something that would otherwise be free now costs you a lot of money because you can literally get away with anything these days. You could sell anything. Do you want to know how much it costs? Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. we're going to we're going to go through this first and then I'll tell you how much it costs. By the way, so happy to see you guys again. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, subscribe. Anyways, let's rage. Rage has been demonized and villainized, especially in the feminine. But our sacred rage is what has incited so many movements, created so much change on our planet. It is imperative that we allow ourselves safe spaces to release this fiery hot emotion. From it is important to have safe spaces to do this. Sure. She also didn't shut the comments off on this video. <laughs> Just further proving how unsafe of a space this is. <laughs> A volcano can be destructive in its eruption. Ultimately, that is also what creates paradise. We have to give ourselves permission to fully emote, to release that which has remained stuck and suppressed inside of ourselves in order to be free. Hi, I'm Mia Magic. Something I have become very notorious for and that my retreats are highly coveted in order to experience is rage rituals. I love when they just throw like a little hit in there of like, of like, yeah, I'm very notorious for this, blah, blah, blah. But they are highly coveted. These rage rituals are so coveted, so coveted in fact, that people will pay, I'm not gonna say it, to come do something completely fucking free. Because I, Mia Magic, have studied a thesaurus long enough to know exactly what words I could turn into magical things. I'm not emptying your pockets. I'm performing a transmutation ritual to turn your money into an enlightening experience. Starting in, feeling into what makes me angry, who has made me angry, who has hurt me, who has broken me, who has cut me down. Guess what? You're still fucking here. Right now I feel angry. Right now I feel frustrated. Everything, whatever you're feeling, let it out. Express yourself. Let yourself feel. Be heard. Start shaking and moving. Right now I feel. What do you feel? Imagine living in this area. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you have guests over, you have to warn them before they go to bed. Hey, hey, you might hear some screaming and shouting. You might hear some shrieking. Don't worry, it's just all the white ladies in the forest. It's so crazy to call this a safe space and then like put people in the most like vulnerable emotional state possible and get them to do some wild shit. And then the only way that you were able to convince them to do that is probably because you said, hey, you guys only have to pay half as long as this is all gonna be on camera. Look, I know I promised a safe space. I know I promised a very comfortable atmosphere, but I need to make a video and I'll give you guys half off. So you only have to pay $3,000 instead. You'll still get the same size of sticks. I'm just gonna record it. These like fake spiritual leader people get so dangerously co close to like cult-like shit. <laughs> Let yourself erupt, paradise will come. Like. Excuse me. <laughs> She's such a fantastic marketer and communicator. Goes all into the witchy stuff and is always going to use words like empowerment and paradise and fucking enlightenment and magic and ethereal transformations and, and shit like that. If anybody, I'm going to put you on some game right now. If anybody uses those words and then offers you a product. <laughs> Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Look, if you really went down the rabbit hole and, and learned as much as you could about all of this magic and spirituality and things like that, the core of all of those teachings is don't look outward for things, which sucks for all the people who want to base their entire living 
off of magic and spirituality because they need to force you to look outward for your healing. So they need to like frame it in ways that like your money is offering you a space to look inward. It's so tricky. <laughs> Oh my god, she's just fair. <laughs> the sounds of screams and shrieks to her is just money falling from the sky. <laughs> Look at this face. <laughs> she's thinking about her next three vacations as she's looking up to the sky, hearing the shrieks. There's nothing like having this safe space and creating this incredibly intentional ceremony in sisterhood side by side so that we can create conscious positive change together hand in hand. Safe space, sisterhood, conscious and positive change. It's such fantastic rhetoric. Look, I agree with the sentiment. I know a lot of people look at this and they go, hey, you know what? Fuck it. You're scamming rich people out of some money. You're fleecing rich people. That's fine. And I, I agree. Yeah. Take the rich people's money, let them do stupid shit. But like, there's got to be some of these people here that like were at their lowest point and saw no other way of being helped and like spent their last dollars on this. And that's not fucking cool. <laughs> that's not cool at all. Is there a level of personal responsibility there? Sure. But that's the nature of this business model. There's only two people who will buy this. People with too much money and not enough to do and people who have nothing else that they could turn to. Those are your main two customers. Like spiritual businesses like this are so, so good and tricky because then when things don't work out for you, well, then it's your fault because you didn't try hard enough. Well, maybe you should try spend another thousand dollars later on next year when you have the money again, come back and try again. Maybe it'll work this time. And then you have these people that you get to look up to like Mia Magic here because of the way she frames um, empowerment and her success and things like that. The only possible reason she's successful is because she's she's reached a certain level of spiritual healthiness and spiritual growth. So you have no choice but to look up to her. You're completely blind to the credit card swipes that are lining her pockets. I get so much joy <laughs> out of watching that. <laughs> so much joy. I get so much joy out of <laughs> out of watching you guys <laughs> do something that's completely free, but you've paid me thousands of dollars to do so. <laughs> it's truth and it's real and it's raw and it's fucking primal. It takes a lot. It's not easy. It's hard to do that practice. A lot of people can't. So I really honor your courage. It takes a fuck load of courage to do that practice. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Having permission to go there and to speak those words. To feel that fucking rage. That part really gets me. Having permission to go there. Like, like the act of giving this woman the money for her to bring you out into the woods is what gave you the permission to do that. And that's where that, that unhealthy framing from the business side is just so effective. She's not, she's not selling you an actual change within. She's not selling you any insane experience. She's selling you the permission to do so when you've always had the permission to go into the woods and do it on your own. But her baseline rhetoric is that you never had permission to do that in the first place. So you're going to have to pay me in order to have that permission. If you are interested in joining me for a retreat, please click the link below. We have two incredible experiences and opportunities. Claim your queendom. Let's 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 claim our queendom. Let's see. <laughs> let's see what it takes to claim our queendom. Oh, shit. She sells a book, too. The intuition. <laughs> no, that's good. I like that. Claim your queendom. Rediscover your royalty in a fairy tale French castle. What is going on now? Is she rebranding to like fairy tale life? <laughs> August 7th to 12th, in the Loire Valley in France. Uh, I'm in. Chamber suite with private ensuite bathroom. $8,000. She's <laughs> killing it. Shared twin, 65. And that's our cheapest option. $6,500 to go scream in a French valley. You know, actually, well, you know what? <laughs> that's kind of tight. <laughs> we do have financing options here. Okay, I can pay $2,666 for three months. She's practically giving this shit away. 
obviously, before I can afford that, I have to buy the money magic course to learn how to make the money to buy the other one. So stupid. God, this is why I need a Mia in my life. Using these practices, I manifested $100,000 in one month. Travel, my dream job, and the freedom I've always wanted. Let me guess, this fucker's also teaching people how to be uh, a witch or something. Whenever you pay someone for an online course of how to make money, the course just teaches you how to sell courses by yourself. I'm telling you. Like, just listen to how she does it. I'm guessing you desire to feel truly prosperous, safe, and confident in your financial life. Uh, literally everybody? Fuck, dude. <laughs> they say we shouldn't believe in fairy tales, just settle for a mundane life. But fairy tales remind us of our magic and power, that we can make our dreams come true. For too long, we've accepted the toxicity of wounded femininity, cherishing our grandest visions only in the secret chambers of our hearts, believing we're too much or never enough. It's time to reclaim the divine queen within. Comment below to discover your queendom. Oh, so that's that's how she justifies her choice of doing it at a French castle is. Well, uh, fairy tales remind us of our power, actually. That's why I'm doing a castle this year, and that's why I can also charge you $8,000 this time around. Contrary to popular belief, there are good men out there willing to go all in and build a magical life with you, devoted to their mission. To <laughs> he's a biohacker? <laughs> so he's also a scammer. Oh my god, this is hilarious. No, trust me, there are good men out there. You just have to find the ones that are also willing to exploit people when they're at their weakest, and he'll take care of you. That's how it goes. Change the world, who still open doors and carry your bags, who are kind to kids and animals, who love pussies with reverence and not just conquest, who help around the house and do not subscribe to the patriarchal programming of toxic masculinity. And just like magic, you have to believe they exist to find them. Mmm, mmm, my favorite nugget, my favorite nugget from all of these teaching. Just like magic, you have to believe they exist to truly find it. Release the blocks to your manifestation abilities with this video. One of the major reasons our greater manifestation powers feel blocked is because our society has programmed us to feel like we're born with original sin and don't deserve good things in life. We are in fact born divine. Babies come straight from the primordial womb of the goddess. We've been taught to work hard only then to be rewarded, but no matter how we try, we still feel inherently unworthy of receiving. The truth is you can have the life you want effortlessly. Read the caption below for my favorite practices to manifest magic in your life read the caption below to manifest the time is now to live the life you deserve he didn't teach me shit how much you want to bet it was supposed to be a link to her like manifesting course or something that cost like a thousand dollars i bet okay key takeaways here i'm gonna try and put you all on some more game <laughs> anything in life truly like emotionally spiritually transformative is not going to have a fucking price tag on it. None of these people help you change your life. You're only funding their lifestyle. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had some fun and hell, like, hey, I kind of went a little hard here and there. But look, this is this business, baby. This is money. This is what people do. If people are paying you for it, there's obviously a market. You're free to do so. Whatever. But anyways, guys, with all that out of the way, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below. And if you're new here, subscribe for fuck's sakes. What are you waiting for? Anyways, I hope you guys have yourselves a fantastic day and I'll see you next time.